Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the last week of September. Wardrobe at a glance with NHN's AI service. NHN officially launches AI fashion service. NHN announced on September 29th that it has officially launched an AI fashion service with its own AI technology. The AI fashion service was developed by gathering data from various domestic and foreign shopping platforms based on image search technology. AI fashion provides services like camera search that allows users to quickly and easily search for similar products using only images and without knowing product information such as product name or brand and a recommendation of similar products in different price ranges and products with similar images if there is none in stock. By using this, small and medium-sized companies, online shopping malls can easily provide sophisticated AI-based recommendation services. It is more reasonable in terms of cost and resources than building AI services on their own. NHN is focusing on AI service advancement by analyzing various attributes such as category, color, material, and pattern in product images and launching a deep tagging feature that can be implemented as a detailed search filter while continuing to provide other AI-based services like OCR, license plate recognition, voice recognition, and voice synthesis. Up next, Smilegate Investment forms a 47 billion won second XR content fund. Smilegate Investment announced on September 28th that it has completed the formation of Smilegate XR Content Fund Number 2, which invests in virtual convergence technology and ad tech related to the metaverse industry. The total amount was 47 billion won, and it is the first time in four months since it was selected as the management company of the Ministry of Science and ICT's account in the second official investment project of the Korea Venture Investment Corps last May. Lee Jae-hyuk, director of Smilegate Investment, who is the main fund manager, said, with the investment and management experience from the first fund, which was almost used up in less than two years after its formation, we were able to quickly form the second fund. To support the sustainable growth of the first fund investment companies, we will review follow-up investments, discover companies that the digital native generation wants, and foster a technology service ecosystem in the field of virtual convergence and ad tech together with investors. NC Soft to create future growth engines diversifies a BM by combining AI with finance. NC Soft would carry out the diversification of its business model. It will develop monetization strategies using their AI technology outside of gaming. It will strengthen its business foundation in digital finance and in the global market by going beyond the domestic market that focuses only on lineage. According to sources on the 27th, NCSoft said they would reorganize a team to carry out new business projects and monetization strategies that include fintech, IT, and AI technology. It would set a direction of the new finance business projects by analyzing ways to capitalize on the digital financial market and AI. New business projects such as fintech and financial services are different from the existing development and project structures in NCSoft. It will analyze the potential of new business models and consumer value based on data. NCSoft started AI research in 2011. It is running an AI center and five research institutes under the NLP Center. 200 researchers specialized in AI are currently working there. It has AI technology in various fields from non-player character AI to development operation, vision, speech, and language. Next up, SK Bioscience says the clinical trial result of South Korea's first vaccine to be released in October. SK Bioscience, which is currently conducting phase three clinical trial of its COVID-19 vaccine, will release the interim results of phase one and two clinical trials in this coming October. Kim Hoon, CTO of SK Bioscience, announced the plan, explaining the company's future plans of GBP510, potential candidate 
for a COVID-19 vaccine at the 18th Autumn Conference of the Korean Vaccine Society 2021, which was held online. Kim Hoon said, we have confirmed safety and efficacy in the phase one and two clinical trials conducted in the first half of this year. And based on these, we have begun clinical trial phase three. It showed a five to six times higher neutralizing antibody than the standard serum in patients in recovery, which makes it on par with leading vaccines. Kim Hoon added, we would be able to disclose detailed clinical trial results after negotiations with the CEPI or Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations from October. CEPI is an international private organization created by governments and charities which came together to raise funds and it is providing support for the development of GBP510. Kim said, we will make every effort to make sure clinical trials don't get delayed by working closely with the International Vaccine Institute. SK Bioscience is aiming to unveil it in South Korea and start supplying COVAX, a global mechanism for equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines, after ending the clinical trials in the first half of the next year. In response to a question on plans for the variants, Kim said, we are developing a master cell bank in order to respond to variants such as the Delta and Beta ones. We will begin to conduct clinical trials of variants in order and make it like the influenza vaccine. SK Bioscience had developed a quadrivalent cell-based flu vaccine. And now, on to our quick news of the week. We made Tree to complete registration as a virtual asset service provider. On the 27th, we made Tree announce that it completed its registration as a virtual asset service provider on the 24th, WeMakeTree is providing a cryptocurrency wallet service called WeMix Wallet. Next up, neighbor to gain speed in Global AI Research Belt. It has recruited outside personnel from the US and Japan. Neighbor will focus more on Global AI Research Belt, a technology research network created by Neighbor as they recruit outside personnel who are gaining momentum in global search and AI fields. And finally, Furiosa AI invested in by Neighbor overtakes the video. Furiosa AI, an AI startup invested in by Neighbor, announced on the 23rd that it proved its technological prowess at MLPerf, a global annual AI semiconductor benchmark event. Furiosa AI's first silicon chip, Warboy, showed a better performance than the NVIDIA T4 in image classification, object detection, and processing speed. That's it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Igris, and I will see you next week.